Welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this phantom. So this is not any 3D phantom that you can find on the internet. This is actually a gun controller, which actually allows me to play Valorant with. So I have a bunch of buttons and the key draw bracelet for the abilities. So my first challenge was getting past Vanguard. It prevents any kind of mouse events, uh, any drivers of any kind. So it was really difficult to simulate uh, mouse events. So either I completely bypass the anti-cheat. No, no, I, I won't do that because I don't want to get banned, so I had to find something else. I had to find a workaround that Vanguard would allow me to use, and this uh, workaround comes with a price, $6. Yep, that's the price for the only software that can be used to map a controller to a mouse input, and it's accepted by Vanguard and Valorant. So now that I know that that works, I can simply simulate a Xbox controller thanks to Python and also add a bunch of, but of buttons on the Arduino Nano. Uh, so from the Arduino Nano I'm gonna send uh, some 1 and zeros to simulate a button press and getting them by Python and yeah, simulate a Xbox controller that will be detected by the software. So this is the architecture of my system. So we have a bunch of uh, buttons. Uh, I have one to reload. I have some to move. To aim, obviously shoot. I have a button to jump. A button to use, so yeah, a bunch of uh, useful buttons, and also I have this bracelet, the killjoy bracelet. Obviously, I have a killjoy main, so this is an obvious choice for me, and it's pretty cool because I can. I have a punctuation meter, so something that I can use to have uh, multiple values, a selector if you if you wish. So basically, I can choose um, an ability. Uh, as you can see the, the LED changing color and when I click the ability come up. Now the more important, how do I aim? To aim I tested two solutions. Uh, the first one was the Arico marker. So as you can see it kinda looks like a QR code and it basically works the same. Uh, I can use that to be detected in the space and know where it is from the center of the camera. So uh, I can put it on the on the gun and detect where uh, so I am the left, right, up, down. And let's say that it wasn't a blast, um, and it was somehow very difficult to play with. I played like six games and got six kills overall, and they were all very bad. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't satisfying to play with, and mainly because of the joystick behavior of the gun. If you don't understand what I mean, um, this is a small demonstration. So with a joystick you control the speed of the mouse, so if I go on the left, it's going to go on the left. But depending on how much I, how I went to the left, it's going to go faster or slower. However, with a real mouse, um, you're gonna go with a, a position control. So if I go on the left, it's gonna go on the left. Um, but as soon as go on, I go on the right, it's going to go on the right. So the position of the mouse is mapped directly to the position of the of the marker on the screen. So I need to change that. So to do so, I change it to a position position control uh, based on the mouse movement. Uh, unfortunately, the software didn't have this option, so I had to code it myself and went back to a game and it was uh, so much better, like so, so much better. But 
the issue was that obviously I was stuck a window of movement so I mapped a button to still have this uh, joystick behavior uh, but only to be able to move around uh, because actually moving around was pretty easy with the joystick uh, behavior so I have a button map to a joystick behavior and a, a mouse behavior so displacement mode and aiming mode if you prefer um, so I tried with some friends and just got destroyed they humiliated me it was uh, very very sad so um, I took a big decision and I understood that what uh, really made the gaming experience very difficult was the Arico marker because sometimes it wasn't detected uh, because of the light because it, I wasn't in the field of view of the of the camera so I had to find something that allows me to get the orientation and uh, uh, the angle of the gun uh, constantly and with small error there exists a sensor which is called IMU, which I used. It's composed of an accelerometer and a gyroscope. So the accelerometer measures the acceleration of the sensor. Uh, so from that you can measure its orientation in the space. So I used that, but why did I use that first? Uh, because there is huge drift in values. For instance here, I don't move the sensor, but you can see that the data is going down for no reason. Well, not for no reason, but I don't really know the, the answer for the for that behavior. So I completely ignore that issue and try that into a game and just see the results. The year is 1991. Birds and people are living together in seemingly perfect harmony until one day a young man catches fire. This is Phoenix. <laughs> Obviously it was a hundred times better. This was actually the first game I did with this uh, with this IMU and you can imagine that with more practice that we would be much better. I mean 11 kills I wasn't the last. Uh, it was pretty good. So I felt really confident and went with a game with some friends and got destroyed because the enemies were so much better than uh, during the than during the death match and also it wasn't very satisfying mainly because when I died I couldn't respawn instantly uh, which pretty sad for me uh, and for my friends obviously uh, maybe I try to improve that uh, because the drift was uh, very very annoying the displacement mode was very useless in this case uh, as soon as you use the the controller for more than one minute the value uh, are just on the roof i mean the aiming mode is still uh, available because uh, the aiming mode works uh, independently of where the center is actually so aiming wasn't the, the real issue here it was the displacement mode so yeah now, if you just think that I'm just bad at the game, I made a little montage of my best shots. So, anyways, I'll see you guys in a new video. And like and subscribe if you like uh, that one. And see ya! Like a